cruising downtown Phoenix with the main man. What's up, everybody? <laughs> what do you think about the car on Friday night, David? You know, I love it, man. It's funny. I think, Andrew, I think 2019 Matchroom and DAZN might have had the most prolific boxing schedule in the history of the sport. It's possible. It's really possible. I mean, we've had over 35 shows all over the world. I mean, all over America, all over the UK, Saudi Arabia, Mexico, Italy, Spain. And now we're in uh, the Valley of the Sun, as they call it, the Copper State, Phoenix, Arizona. And um, this is the spot, man. This is the spot. spot. We're gonna go. We're going to get some Mexican food, man. I'm gonna take Lovely. you to a local spot here. But um, this is a great town, man. There's a lot of fighters from here. Roberto Bravo, um, Bandera Roja, man. Because we're at 168, right? The Super Middles. David Benavidez, the mm -hmm. undefeated. He's from Phoenix. But you know, if I think about Phoenix, to me, the most famous fighter ever from here, without a doubt is uh, Manitas de Piedra, the little hands of stone, Michael Carbajal. Man, he's a fucking badass. I love this dude. I'm telling you, man, he was a great fighter. If you guys ever want to watch a fight, for all you newbies out there, if you want to watch a fight, March 13th, 1993, okay? Humberto Chiquito Gonzalez, he was the WBC light flyweight champion. Michael Carbajal, IBF light flyweight champion. Man, two tough SOBs are on a collision course. Chiquito only been has one defeat, but that was from like a, a cut, so it wasn't even wasn't even a real defeat. So ba basically, both undefeated. Carbajal's undefeated, and they finally met at the Hilton in Las Vegas, and uh, 1993 turned out to be the fight of the year. Um, it was unbelievable. You know, Chiquito Gonzalez, he was just like a banger, and he's a switch hitter. He's a southpaw, but he he can fight. He can fight both. The fight is just such an incredible fight to watch. Carbajal, more, he's the quintessential boxer puncher. And for all you guys, just listen out, man. So the fight takes place, and round two, Carbajal gets dropped. I don't think he's really hurt. He's more, it's more just like a, a powerful shot to put him down. But his corner, his brother Danny's in the corner, and he's like, bro, fight at distance. But Carbajal knew he was doing better work on the inside. And they fought forehead to forehead, man, in the kitchen. It was an unbelievable fight. Round five, Chiquito Gonzalez knocks down Carbajal, and Carbajal's hurt. This time, Carbajal's hurt. Carbajal's hurt. He's wonky. He gets up. It's right as the, as the, as the round opens. He gets up. It was incredible. But he fights back. He fights back. And he, it was almost like he won the rest of the round in round five. It was like Gonzalez had almost punched himself out a little bit. Round seven, check this out. This is such an <laughs> unbelievable fight. It, you need to Google this fight, watch this fight. Round seven, Carbo Hall, they wanted him just throw the right hand, throw the right hand, throw the right hand, and then come with the left. You know, show him the right, show him the right, show him the right, finish him with the left, and it's exactly what he did. If you ever want to see a perfect, short, compact left hook knock a man out, you watch round seven, you watch this fight, the official time of the stop is 2.59 of round number seven. It was an unbelievable knockout. Referee Mills Lane could have counted to 100. Gonzalez was not getting up. Bro, Carbajal, he turned his punch over. It was so short and compact. It was, it's just absolutely beautiful. Right on the chin, Gonzalez, it, I mean, he was knocked out. He, he felt like a sack of potatoes. Carbajal had to actually get out of the way of him because he fell so hard. And actually at the beginning of the round, he had hit him and almost knocked Gonzalez out. Gonzalez fell against the ropes. That should have actually been a knockdown. That was kind of a mistake on Mills Lane. Very rare mistake from the great Mills Lane. But anyway, both guys were inducted into the Hall of Fame in 2006. They were inducted together. They're both legends. And this is where Michael Carbajal is from. Manitas de Piedro, Little Hands of Stone. I fucking love the guy. What a great fighter. What a great fighter. I love being in this hometown. So anyway, we got a great fight card. Um, Julio Cesar Chavez Jr., Danny Jacobs, Rashad Mahdi, Raymond Ford, Danny Aryulusinov. We've got, um, who else is on the card? Oh, we got BP Smith is on the card. Did you say Josh Kelly? Josh Kelly's on the card. He's fighting Winston Campos, who fought um, Josh Taylor in uh, Scotland. That's in your backyard, right, right at the yeah. SSC. I did that fight. That was a good fight. Um, so it's a great fight card. It's, it's a really nice night, man. I'm really excited. It's a great way to close out 2019. And just like I told you how 2019, I think, was maybe the most prolific boxing schedule that we've seen in history, I think 2020 is going to be even bigger. So the fight starts now. Guys, check it out. It's going to be incredible. And watch that fight, man. Um, they, fought, they, fought, they, fought, they fought three times. 
And uh, Gonzalez came out on top the, the second, the last two. But the first one was the fight of the year. And in fact, Michael Carbajal beat, was the fighter of the year. That fight, first, bro, it was the first for 100. It's heavyweight excitement and 108 pounds. You're never going to see anything <laughs> like it. I'm telling you, you're never going to see anything like it. The stars were there. It was an incredible fight. And it was the very first million-dollar purse for a, for a light flyweight fight. And it was also the first... Um, it was also the first light flyweight fight that headlined a pay-per-view show. So it's, it was an historic night, and it was amazing, and, and it's Phoenix history, and so that's why I'm talking about it now. There you go, the boxing encyclopedia. That is David Diamante. Well done, mate. Well, let's go get to this Mexican food. Yeah, let's, let's go, go do it. All right, guys. It's special. Absolute dynamite. Oh, my goodness. Huey.